let's take a look at that because that definitely that definitely looked like an extension cord to me all right let's go to the library finally or not the library the warehouse Maybe we should have confessed our embarrassing secrets after all. Dang it! I'm sorry, Chihiro. It's all because I wasn't strong enough. That has nothing to do with this, though. Alright. Uh, so the warehouse is this way, because apparently, like, we were told that Celeste could be in there. Right? Celeste is not here. Well, let's go inside. Maybe she's inside. Yeah, Celeste is here. Celeste, what are you doing here? This warehouse is amazing. It has absolutely everything one might need to live a full life. From food to clothes, towels, there's an endless supply to choose from. I see, but have you found anything related to the case? I knew you were going to ask me that. I thought I thought about talking about the warehouse it itself might it might misdirect you, but it was, but I see it was pointless. Then you did find something. <laughs> Very well, I'll tell you only you. Actually. Last night I saw her here. Chihiro was in the warehouse. Okay, mm -hmm. this is right before nighttime. Hmm, what are you doing out this late? Oh, um, I was just. Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? What? How did you know? Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. <sighs> she stuffed the jacket into a bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. Yes, I assume she was merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but it would appear she ignored the nighttime rule and headed directly to the girls' locker room. If she hadn't broken our rule, none of this would have ever happened. You get what you deserve, I suppose. So apparently she went to the girls' locker room late at night in order to exercise without anyone knowing. Wow, interesting. But the strange thing is, there's no trace of the of the track ja jacket or duffel bag Celeste said she saw Chihiro carrying. Which means the killer would have gotten rid of it somehow. Okay. Dude, what are all these here? Dude, I don't remember seeing all, all, all these boxes around here. Okay. Wait, Hina's not here. Okay. Hina is not there for some reason. Oh, the trash room. Maybe there's something in the trash room. Right? Cause, Cause you're trying to kill the evidence? In the trash room? Is this what it is? Oh right, I can't get inside cause I don't have- I cause... Yeah, I, I can't- okay, never mind. Forget, for, forget about that. Oh wait, you're here! How's Toko doing? Same as before, she won't come out, she just keeps on mumbling about uh, something about Genocide Jack. So I just left her there. My head was all swimmy and I was getting pretty hungry. Oh, but don't worry, I'm gonna head back as soon as I'm done eating. Toko's not exactly pleasant, but I'm still worried about her. Uh, speaking of which, what are, you, what are you eating? A donut, of course! 
Okay, outer space and donuts. Mm. Who did she spend time with? Well. well, she was a little bit strange. Didn't really hang out w with the other girls much. It was like, like she was trying to keep her distance from us. Actually, Sakura told, uh, said something similar. She's, mm, she said that even though you and her invited Chihiro to exercise with you, she always refused. Yeah, totally. Yep, it's true. And it wasn't just us e either. It was like she stayed away from all the girls. Was she just shy? Mm. I don't know. She talked to the boys all the time. Isn't that kind of weird to shy around your own sex, but totally fine with the opposite sex? I mean, not really, I guess. Maybe she was used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't judge a book by its cover, right? Yeah, I don't see... Yeah, I don't think she's that type of person. Wait, what? That's it? Um, so, uh... I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's the moment you've all been waiting for! The class trial! You remember where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! Begin the class trial, or it's about to begin. The red door is right through here. Oh gosh, we gotta do this. Okay, so this is gonna be a horror investigation than uh, Sayaka's uh, investigation. Sayaka's was kind of easy, but man, this is a much harder, like, this is like much harder now. Cause there's no real, I mean, well, it was easy because Sayaka's killer, like, was just super obvious. It literally says it, but for Chihiro, this is like much different. I'm gonna bear it back real quick. All right, here we go. The good news is that nobody is accusing me, uh, to, like, as the killer, because- just because, like, Chihiro is not in my room, it has nothing to do with me. So nobody's gonna strip go all out on me. Am I blind or are we missing someone? Yo. Yeah, Toko's not here. And Toko is? You really don't remember? Kidding, I'm just kidding, how can I forget uh, that little nut job? He's a crucial part of the class trial this time. Okay, Doki, I'll go ahead and drag her, uh, drag her out. Kicking and screaming, just one moment, please. I told him I don't want, I didn't want to, but he forced me. I can't believe you would drag a girl around. Terrible, you're terrible. Okay. Shihiro, Fujisaki, she was so gentle, so calm and meek, nobody had any problems with her. Someone made the choice to kill her like that. And that murder is one of us. Someone standing right here. No, I already talked to you! Well, then. I will uncover the villain who performs such uh, heinous acts on a weaker individual. I don't know why the killer did what they did, but I'm sure it'll work itself out. Justice always prevails, right bro? Shall we go? That's it? Miss Fujisaki, I must admit, for being 3D, she was quite remarkable. Of course, she was the idea of 3D makes me- the, just the idea of 3D makes me cringe. <laughs> hey, come on. Freaking Toko, man. What's got her so worked up? There is something odd about Toko's behavior. I do not think mere shock is enough to explain it. 
I guess I wasn't much help at all on this one. I gave you plenty to work with. Show us how far your logic can take you. Oh boy. Here we go. It's true. I gave a small nod in reply. With one last deep breath, I walked toward the elevator on shaky legs. With each step forward, I could feel my, my heart starting to race faster and faster. As soon as everyone was on, the elevator began to descend. I, could, I couldn't get, get a handle on my emotions. Couldn't stop speculating. Oh man, the steel box sank it with, with heavy clunking sounds deeper and deeper into the ground. And as we went deeper, the uneasiness in my heart grew bigger and bigger. The elevator was unaffected, however, and continued to descend without hesitation, and f until finally, it came to a sudden stop. What do you think? I redecorated it. Isn't it so fresh? Isn't it so exciting? <laughs> You're a rip rang to go. go uh, gotta say, I don't hate it. Not at all. So wait, how'd you redecorate the room? A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. Okay, here we go. Uh, how about... Save over this.